what up folks what up folks your host again the one and only the most sexy the most amazing prince vegeta we're out here in las vegas nevada um the homie let us park here we got plenty of customers up here hey what's up girl hey shout out girl <laughs> um we got a stop over here and uh let's see let's see what's going on we are on Paradise Road, which also uh, crosses with Karen. Karen Avenue and Paradise Road. We got unit 1907 something. Quiet out. It's nice and quiet out. We got two offices. He just opened a passenger's door. Just take them to the back of this patrol car. We got one officer standing uh, right beside the female passenger. Not questioning the passenger. And you know what's cool is that you know there's cops out there that they'll talk to you cool and stuff, but the ones that don't, I mean, even if oh, the one's coming out. I'll comment soon. Got a, we got a chopper. All right, they're taking uh, they're taking the mail in custody. That's why I couldn't get the full number of this unit. All right, he just opened his uh, door, so I'm assuming they're gonna take him in. Let's walk back. Give them enough space so they don't say that, you know, it's for their safety. He just got the clipboard. Gotta write them citations down. We got another unit over here. Zero four nine five. 
He's putting his gloves on. Mind you, uh, we had the officer call it in. I can't really hear, but he's lecturing the, the young lady. Huh? Or intimidation tactics. Also, side note, I lost my dead cat. My dead cat is not on my camera anymore. On my mic anymore. I can hear him saying something about their safety. They always try to pull their safety. So that's what we have going on. If I had my dead cat on my mic, his partner just went to advise him, bro, you're talking too loud. <laughs> we got another unit over here. What's up, man? How's it going, man? Good, how you doing? Good. What's your name? No name? No. All right. Hey, man, I appreciate you keeping your distance. Of course, man. I do. I, you have the right to man. And you know, not everyone that holds a cam is a dick, you know. Yeah. Just like not every officer is a dick. But there's also some officers that are dicks. Just like cams. Thanks, man. <laughs> and now we got one, two, three units. Cool. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going, officer? Good, man. Good. It's too cold tonight. It is, Sarge. <laughs> we got one, two, three, four, five, six. No more in there. Seven officers. All right, one of the officers, he brought out that uh, that paper baggie where you put all your, your stuff when you're going in jail. We should go on a... Oh, oh you okay, bro? What's up? Yeah, thanks. I'll hold it for you good? No, I'm good. All right, man. These cars are, you know... Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I was about to say I need to go uh, on a ride along with this guy. <laughs> Who with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Whatever. Feel free. Is it available now, or is or, you know because they they couldn't because of COVID? Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I gotcha, gotcha. Policy, I Good looking out, man. Yeah, thank you. Very professional. They're giving the they're giving the lady a hard time. They got him good. <laughs> they're talking about how the the back door slammed on his head. Now we got one officer in there trying to look in the in the vehicle all the way up front. One, two, three, four on the side, pedestrian and roadway. All right, I just heard them talking about the camera guy, AKA me. Now they're looking in her vehicle, their vehicle. Who knows if they gave them consent to search. <clears throat> I don't know why they can't just give their name and just be like, yo, you know, 
Stay warm in this cold. And that other uh, officer, if he was like just playing it, he was, he was being cool, you know, but these guys, they're not above the law and they're going to find out. Got a bird in the sky. Because he was going too fast, so they took him in. You serious? Did you give him uh, permission to search the vehicle? No. You know? Nothing nefarious. Hey, officer, quick, yeah, uh, quick question. Um, if uh, the victim or the person in this vehicle says you're, in, uh, they don't want you to search your vehicle. Yeah, I can't. Are you allowed I to search? I can't explain anything of about this. Okay. I, I mean, I know about um, it, but okay. Is there anything you need inside that vehicle? Mm, I, not, I can't think on hand. I'm just. I got you. I'm, I don't think so. Okay. You know, no searches and seizures. Fourth Amendment. Damn, and they're still going to do it. Officer Turley. You guys saw how I tried to ask for their badge numbers and only one of them gave them to me. Even after me, uh, you know, trying to talk nice to him and stuff. It's, the other one, uh, he was cool and that's why I was talking nice to him. They get the respect they give and uh, even though you know and that's the thing that sometimes you know even though one officer might be cool they all represent the same department so they got Grant Cardone I guarantee you if one of these work for Grant Cardone or any big boss they'd be fired that's why they don't work for Grant Cardone it doesn't have a number for him. But that's you messaging him? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, you can just I don't get the know what else. Oh, 
off thing. She she has the like info to him. Is she However, rented it? you rented the car. Yeah, and it's you were, in my. You, and you were planning on returning it. We were literally on our way to return it. Where where are you returning it at? The address that he gave me. There's nothing on there. I don't understand. This is Terrell. Terrell is. Yeah, no, I, I get the concept of it with the show. You rented in your name and we can release the car to you. We're trying to avoid it getting towed. Have a good one, officer. Yeah, that was a cool officer. Um, that way, you can at least return it and you don't have to deal with that all day. <laughs> He's going to be going to CCDC. Just for the, for the fire. For the fire. Yeah. He'll call you when he gets down there to let you know what's going on. I understand it's upsetting and whatever happened with you and the other officers, that's not us. And we're, we're just here to try to make sure, you know, you have at least have a way home. You don't have to walk. You don't have to try and find a ride. We know it's, yeah, we know this is not the best part of town, so we don't want to leave here. Right, <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. We're trying to get through. What is it? Sports, Sports Manor? Sportsman's Manor? 817's. Yeah. No, 817's Sportsman's Drive. These officers are trying to be cordial, working with the lady. 12 minutes away. Hey officer, can I have your name and badge number? Walford, Walford. Eight, four, six, one. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a good night. Stay safe and warm, bro. It's cold out here. All right, girl, so it's okay, girl. Just breathe, calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's gonna be okay, all right? <laughs> Just, before you drive, you know, breathe, and you got my number, so hit me up and I'll help you out. Okay. All right, girl. Poor lady, poor lady. bald officer oh he just pulled someone else over the bald officer he he deserves uh no respect he wants to treat the community like that and expect for people to treat him like a king hell's not bro you know that's not how it goes they're not above the law they're not above the law so i think that was clickbait because he pulled that uh that car over real quick but now he's gone well folks Thanks for tuning in. That was the one and only. Hopefully I don't get arrested, you know, on my way out here, which I don't think I will. This uh, this kind of medium place is highly secure. Worst case scenario, my vehicle is safe. Shout out to my dancer girl all the way up there. Delivered her furniture. My homeboy all the way the fuck up there. The guards, shout out baby. Everyone up in here is dope as fuck. Alright, again, once again, your host, the one and only, the one that loves you the most. Out baby, thanks for tuning in.